Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Arshana here. I'm back with a new video, and today we are going to be talking about products. Okay, we got face products, we got body products, we got makeup, of course. Um, we got perfume, we have a palette, a couple of palettes, highlighters, etc. So, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. I don't want to be chit chatting all day. Okay, what I want to start with is. We're going to do perfume first. My two favorite perfumes that I've been loving lately, even though I had them for a very long time. It's, of course, one is the Nicki Minaj perfume. I've had this one since last Christmas. The one I had before that is the other one when she has the pink hair. And the, the one that she has, the baby pink hair. And I also have the curly wig. Or I also had the one with the curly wig with the fuchsia pink hair. So this one is my third try because I think she has like four or three different perfumes so yeah this one smells like you're a boss like this gives me like when I'm feeling like when I'm feeling myself and I'm going out or I'm just feeling super pumped that day then I'll wear this perfume this makes me feel like I am the boss I am the B-I-T-C-H like I'm popping or whatever so this one is my favorite one I love all of her perfumes but her perfumes just give me that boss smell like you're a bad you know what now this Gucci one is Gucci guilty my mom had this perfume and I was trying to get it from her for a very long time like it's probably been like six months I'm like mom are you sure you with this perfume because I don't see you using it I was really trying to get her perfume but she was like get off my dresser because my mother had like a mad perfume like she's the perfume queen okay so I purchased this myself because I love this so much. This right here is what I wear when I'm just like when you want to smell super duper expensive and smell like money. Smell like money. This is what it is. When I'm want to smell like money. You feel me? <laughs> so this is when I want to smell like money. Now we're gonna start with a body care. Um, I've been as y'all guys know, I do use the Nivea's body lotion this is my favorite lotion if you have very 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 dry skin especially in the winter time this is super good this is 24 hour moisture but this is already in a favorites of my video I will I will um link all my previous favorite videos in the description box so you can check out my other favorites but this is already in a video already so we're not going to talk about this one but I had to show you guys this one so y'all can understand why I have this next product I'm about to show you. I have the Nivea's In Shower Body Lotion and Cocoa Butter. This is like when you're on the go, instead of you coming out the shower, you dry yourself off, and then you lotion. You don't have to do that. You could easily use this inside your shower, get out, dry off, and get dressed and leave the house. So this is super convenient for those who goes to work every day or you just need to get a quick shower real quick. Even at night when you come from going out, you take a shower, you don't want to be doing some extra stuff, then you could just use this in the shower and be moisturized all day, literally all day. Um, I This is my first time using the cocoa butter. I usually use the regular one. It's just in a the whole bottle is blue. But I think I like this better, I guess, because it has cocoa butter in it. It has a nice, nice, subtle smell to it. But basically, you just take your shower. Once you rinse the suds off, and then you apply this. Apply it everywhere, your legs. Just don't pop, apply it on the bottom of your feet because you can hurt yourself being that you're in the shower. So you put it everywhere else on your back, back of your legs. Everywhere you <laughs> everywhere you need to be moisturized and then you let the water rinse off and then let it rinse off all the product that you just put on your body and then you just dry, you get out the shower, dry yourself and you go to bed. These good hair, skin and nail gummies, I really like them. They have really been helping me with my nails. I originally brought them for my nails. If you want to see a nail care video, I have that already up on my channel is in the description box i will have it in the description box um my hair definitely i've been seeing um my hair grows anyway so it's like i can't really tell if my hair is growing but i do see a difference i'm seeing a slight difference but my nails definitely grow fast they grow or they already grow fast but they're growing faster which is great because um as you guys know if y'all see my nail care video one of my nails broke 
so I had to just cut all of them down I was like oh my god I was kind of annoyed because they were so long like they was out here but it's all right because we got the vitamins the, the vitamins got us so this is pretty good um, I've been using this for maybe four months um, I don't take them every day I take them three times a week or maybe two times a week because I notice hair on my hair in other places are growing faster as well and I'm just not having that. <laughs> I'm just not. Okay, so maybe we can jump in to we can jump into makeup. I'm gonna go with lashes first because I have some favorite lashes. Um if you guys know if you've seen my previous videos I've been using the Lily Lashes Times um OMG lashes. OMG Lashes is a YouTuber on YouTube. She collabed with this lash company. She has four lashes, but the lashes I've been using lately are Workflow. Workflow I've been using a lot lately. This is, these are Workflow. These are nice and wispy. Um, they're mink lashes. Nice and wispy. I love these lashes. They make every eye look pop. Um, if you got a smoky eye, if you got a subtle eye, it just makes every look pop. And the ones I have on today are Glam On. These are the ones I have on right now. So these two have been my favorites so far. So good. And I've also been loving these from from Azaretto Cosmetics. Um, these are legendary. I know I love Wispy Lashes. Wispy is my... Ooh. <laughs> How you just jump out like that? It's bae. Like, I love wispy lashes. Any type of wispy lashes, I'm for it. Also, I have a 10% coupon on these lashes. If you would like to check it out, I will have everything in the description box. The website, my coupon code, and they have also have other, um, they have also other, other type of lashes. If you don't want wispy or dramatic lashes, they also have nice, um, you know, natural lashes, not too heavy on you. You know, it's all about your preference. So everything will be in the description box. Okay, guys, we're going to move on to eyeshadow palettes. I love me some eyeshadow palettes. I just want to talk about this Aaliyah Times Matte Collection. Um, I use this twice on my channel. I did the I did the first impressions, and I also did um another. I did a second look with it, and I just love this eyeshadow palette is super creamy first of all these eyeshadows aren't what I would use every day so that's why you probably don't see me you you haven't seen me use it again and on top of that it's a collector's item so I don't want to just use it all the time use it all the time and don't and just use it up and you know because it's like I believe it's like a limited time type of thing so I don't want to just use this up because this is collector's item it means so much to me so I don't want to just dig in it dig in it so maybe like on special occasions like um like for instance if it's my birthday or Christmas well I won't use this for Christmas but it has to be to me like it has to be like a special occasion so that's why y'all don't see me use this all the time but don't think don't think for a second you are not going to see me use this because the Fenty Beauties Moroccan Spice Palette. I'm not going to lie. I like this palette. For the simple fact that you have so many different colors in this palette. Like you go to a smoky eye. You could do a nice summery eye. You could do a nice shimmer eye. You can even go, you know, it's just, you could just do so much with this palette. And the thing that caught me was these creamy eyeshadows. Like these eyeshadows literally aren't powder eyeshadows they are cream eyeshadows so it's like you get more for your money because you don't get a lot of fallout when you apply them on your eyelash your eyelash <laughs> on your eyelids so i think that's very awesome next this is not an eyeshadow palette but this is a highlighter palette this has been in a favorites video already but it's just that i picked it back up and it's like i'm in love all over again this is the anastasia times nicole guerrero if you don't know nicole nicole guerrero on youtube then you need to wake up because she is like mom. <laughs> this is Nicole Guerrero's uh, um six highlighter palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. When she came out with this, I was like, no, I have to get it like by any means necessary. 
Um, I just love how all these shades look good on me. I don't use Forever Lit. I will probably use Forever Lit as maybe an eyelid or maybe an inner corner. But I will not use this on my cheeks because I am a chocolate girl. And chocolate girls don't use white highlighters unless it's Halloween or, you know, a nice, dramatic, um, sultry look. I don't know. Depends on what you're going for. It depends what you're going for. I'm not going for this shade unless it's Halloween or something or it's good to go in my inner corner. But these other shades are definitely chocolate friendly. I freaking love them. But this palette right here, which is the Jaclyn Times Morphe palette. Oh my god, this 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 palette is tall up. Like I've really been using this palette lately. Um, this palette is awesome. Um, you have the pinks, the golds, you have the blues, the greens. You have the purples. You just have everything in one palette. This is also good for if you want to travel, if you're traveling. But in my case, I like to use smaller palettes because I don't have, my makeup bags aren't big for me to just be throwing big palettes in it. Like if this was a medium type of thing, I would definitely take this while I'm traveling. But it's so big to the point I wouldn't know where to put it. <laughs> but this palette is good these four shades right here are my life like these four right here this is just, this is just me right here in this area right <laughs> this is this ColourPop foundation I did a review on it if you have not if you missed it girl y'all already know check that description box okay this foundation was $12 if I'm not mistaken I am in the shade deep dark 190 this foundation is good it does not move at all it doesn't separate on my face I don't have it on now though I'm with yeah this foundation is good for summer perfect for summer um I don't get no it's just I don't know I can't explain it like this is perfect this is like Fenty Beauty in a medium size or in a less expensive because this foundation held up and I'm an oily chick. Y'all don't understand. Like I'm super oily. It's not even funny. And this held up in like 90 degree weather. Like this is like <laughs> love in a bottle. Like we we what? Okay. But yeah, this foundation is good. If you are oily and you want a nice and expensive foundation this will be perfect for you you get a lot in a body you don't need a lot it's full coverage yep full medium to full coverage and you'll be popping or something so we're gonna go to the concealer this um color pop concealer is great i freaking love this concealer this concealer does not crease on me this concealer is nice and creamy i just love the applicator on it it's like it's like super um it's easy to glide on you don't you don't poke yourself in the eyes so i like that as well and i'm in the shade dark 46 if you're if me and you are the same complexion if you want to try this collection out i definitely have the shades because that's how i found my color um this concealer just flawless it's um it's full coverage it's radiant it's not drying so it's just you know i think more concealers can be more full coverage like just because you're full coverage don't, doesn't mean you have to be drying i think that's what it is just like with shape tape i love shape tape but shape tape is drying and sometimes i have to you know make sure i use my eye cream because usually when your under eye is dry that's what creates creasing i feel like that's just me um oh so the color pop no filter setting powder say so i bought the whole collection so this setting powder Whew. I'm gonna just tell y'all. I don't think y'all understand. I don't think y'all get it. I don't think y'all understand. I don't think y'all get it. Like this setting powder I have in the shade banana. This foundation, this foundation. When it says no filter, like you don't need no filter. Like when I mean when I apply this um powder under my eyes, it actually minimizes my pores as well. And on, and on top of that, I do use a pore minimizer. So by me using a pore minimizer and then I put this on top, it's like, what pores? We don't need no filter on Snapchat. We don't need no filter on Instagram. Like, it's just like, uh, excuse me? Like, I don't know if I put these in my last 
I don't know if I put these in my last um, favorites video, but the Adri Wine Concealers. I have the shade Caramel and I have Tan. Caramel is a little bit too light for me, but Tan is just right, so I'll just mix them both basically because I don't want to use them with one, one more than the other. So that's what I use. Um, these concealers, I feel like they are my favorites. Only when I use a certain type of um, foundation. Now, when I use the foundation, the when I use a certain foundation, it comes out super flawless. Um, it comes out nice and flawless, full coverage. Um, it's easy to blend out, and it's just so cute. The packaging is cute. I like the little um little um sponge on the end. It's just that I wish that this, these was a little bit bigger. But I have so much concealers that I don't have to always use these, so I just, you know, use them sparingly. But the next favorite that I have is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I don't know if I have this in the favorite, but I picked this back up. So this is my current favorite as of now. So the this Maybelline Superstay Foundation with this is awesome. I freaking love it. It just goes together. It's like a match made in heaven. But next, oh shoot. My current favorite, like that I just started using probably almost a week now, is the Black Radiance Setting Powder. Like, bro, let me just tell you. Like, ColourPop, and this is running neck and neck, honey. Neck and neck, and this is $7.99. Look how huge this is. Black Radiance, don't sleep on Black Radiance. I just did a review on this. I will definitely link that in the description box. I have a pop up in the cards. That was my last video. I just uploaded like two days ago. I want everybody to get this. I want everybody to get this powder. This powder is so good. Oh my god. Like this powder. It's popping. It's lit. It's popping. Go get it. E. Brooklyn Born Lip Glass is so cute. Like, mmm, this smells buttery. It's so cute. I freaking love this. This is part of the Aaliyah collection. This goes great with a uh, nice dark, not dark, sorry. If you want to do, if you're doing like giving me 90s vibes or whatever, you know, you know, the dark, um, I can use a brown lip liner with this and let it blend in. It would look super awesome you could put this basically not with any eye but i mean smoky eye definitely works perfectly this is like something super unique that you just use sometimes i don't know like i said with my leah collection I'm, i use it sparingly because i feel like it's collector's item it's makeup but i feel like it's collector's item i don't i can't get this nowhere else you know what i'm saying so i keep it in the box but i really love it what i really 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 need really love out of the collection is the freaking oh shoot I'm sorry this is the Lily's Motor City this is super creamy it gives you like a peachy vibe so it looks so good especially on color girls oh my god okay I've been loving this other girl pro HD high definition smooth and face primer like this actually is smoothing out sister face I didn't use it today but I've really been putting this into my and it kind of mattifies as well. I noticed that it's been it actually smooths out your face and it also minimizes. I mean it also cancels out any oils I have on my face. So this is pretty good. I've I really been sleeping on this. Okay guys, you made it to the end of this video. If you like chit chats like this about makeup and what's popping and what's not popping then let me know in the comment section i was about to say description box let me know in the comment section i love you guys so much don't forget to check out my last video don't forget to check out my other product review videos i will have everything in the description box don't forget to subscribe like and also leave me a pretty nice comment in the comment section and i just see you guys in the next one if you want to see how I got these two buns, I need to wash my hair. Um, that'll be in the description box. Everything is there for y'all. I just gotta scroll down. I do all the work for y'all. Yeah, I just have to scroll down. Stay tuned. Y'all see how I'm popping pop my face? Look, stay tuned on what foundation I've been using lately. So, keep an eye out for that. And 
I love you guys so much. I said that like three times, but I really do. Okay.